Hey friends, and welcome to part uh, seven. All right, so uh, this actually technically is part eight. I recorded part seven, um, and after finishing the playthrough, I realized that my hard drive was full, and so I didn't actually record anything. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and fill you in on what y'all missed. It wasn't a whole lot because it was mostly just um, making sure that we're getting the growth that we need in our uh, southern cities here that we're trying to uh, raise our populations in. Um, so the, the main things that I added was this cotton farm right here because uh, I now have a tailor in Compeche. Uh, so we've got that snaking through here, bypassing the warehouse um, to go directly into Compeche. Uh, I also, I think I added this in the last part, maybe it was the part before and you guys already know this, but uh, we now have a, um, a lumber mill. Uh, bringing wood directly to, or not a lumber mill, uh, I guess a, a logging camp, what are these called? Anyways, uh, bringing wood directly into Merida um, rather than bringing it from the warehouse over here. Um, so that'll free up more space on our trains coming from the warehouse to bring other goods to Merida. Uh, what else did we do? I think that's mostly it, honestly. We were, we were mostly just um, Trying to make sure we got our weapons uh, down here and make sure we're getting the, the resources that we need. Um, so on that note, um, we now have completed all of our weapon deliveries. So we've, we've got that finished and we are now just trying to reach population of 60,000 in both Merida and Belize. And this is going to be pretty difficult because um, we've only got just over a year, like a year and a month to get this done. And we have to double our population in Belize in that time. So I think, I honestly don't know if we're gonna be able to do it, but I think the only way we're gonna be able to pull that off would be to make sure we never have a drop in growth in Belize. So we need to see uh, what we need to do to get that done. Um, okay, so first order of business, we're going to stop bringing guns um, to the warehouse here because we don't need them anymore. They don't help our growth. They do make us money but our focus is growth right now. So we're gonna delete that and we're gonna delete our two gun trains that we have running down from Mexico City. All right, that's taken care of. That'll also free up more space uh, on this line, not that we really need it. And then we're gonna wanna bring another resource into here. So let's see what Belize and Merida are both lacking in. Um, not a whole lot. Uh, looks like we're running low on wood, and we're probably dipping below on some other stuff too. Um, and in Merida, we're running out of wheat. Uh, oh, we could use sugar now, so maybe we'll bring sugar into the warehouse here. I think that would actually be wise. Um, and let's go ahead and take a look at what our... Um, warehouse trains are bringing into both of these cities. Okay, so this train has cattle, coffee, and beer. I think that's okay. This one has cattle, coffee, and guns. Um, so let's make that cattle, coffee, and wheat. I think. And then let's add one more train on this line. And we will have it bring in, let's see. Definitely wheat. Maybe one less coffee. One less cattle and a couple of beer. I don't, I don't like how that looks there, so let's do it like that. Eh. We'll try this, and we'll fine-tune it as, as the game progresses when we start seeing what we're, we're dipping low on in Merida. Also, let's take a quick look at our warehouse and see if we're running low on anything. We're good on cattle because it's right next to the cattle farm. We're good on wood. Um, coffee we're running low on, and we seem to be okay on beer and grain. So our coffee is coming from our Ortega warehouse over here. So now that we have wood going directly to Merida, we're going to be 
needing less wood from this warehouse here. So let's bring a little more coffee and a little less wood on, on each of these trains. So we'll go one less wood and an extra coffee. And I think we'll just do that on, on every single one of these. Oops. Oh, wrong. Wrong thing. There we go. Okay. Oops. There we go. Okay, that should make sure that we've always got copy and we'll keep an eye on it and make sure that's the case. And now let's take a look at our Belize uh, freight trains. Okay, wood, 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 green, green, copy, copy, copy. I think that's okay. And let's see. Green, green, two, two kettles, two coffees, and beer. I'm just gonna make this look a little neater. Okay, and let's get one more train. Um, like I said, our growth is fine now, but we we really I think if we if we lose our growth even for a couple minutes, I think we I think we lose. So we just need to kind of overkill here and make sure that we have constant growth. So let's let's get one more of these down. And let's, um, actually first let's take a quick look and see what we're running low, lowest on. Wood. Nothing really. Um, so let's just kind of make it an, an even spread of things. Uh, we'll do two wheat, two cattle, two coffee, a wood and a beer. I oh, know wood was one of the things we were running lower on, so we'll do it like that. And again, we'll we'll adjust as we need to. And we might want to consider expanding this right now as well, so that we never get any. Uh, of our trains being held up. Let's do that. We're gonna expand this. Yeah, these are gonna have to come up a little longer, actually. All right, and we want this one to cross. Oops. Nope, oh, nope. Oh. signals are all good for this. And let's push this one up a little further. Okay, and then we need to go ahead and tell all of our trains where to go. Why can't I click on that? Hello? There we go. All right, so we'll tell you in Belize to go on track one. Um, and we'll put you on track three. And there we go. Let's probably do the same thing in Merida over here. They've already got four, four lines over here. So let us keep an eye on that and make sure they're not getting all congested. We also should probably take a look at um, Compeche. Well, let's let it run and we'll, we'll take keep an eye on Compeche, keep an eye on our growth, and see if we're getting any uh, congestion here in Compeche. Oh, we also want to get this, um, this sugar farm set up. 
Uh, I think we can do a small station. signal down right here like so. Let's see if we can move that a little closer like that. And we can move this up to here. And then this one I think we want to just get rid of. Yeah. Alright, let's get a train on this line. Lopez to Peninsula Warehouse, and this is going to be called Peninsula Warehouse Sugar. Oh, let's call it Agave. Pop Mastodon on that line. I needed to do something about all of our employees. I'm so bad about keeping an eye on my employees. This guy, missing equipment. What are you? You're cotton. Oh, we need to get a supply tower on our cotton line. Let's pop that down in the, in the middle here. Okay. Oh, and we need to tell our warehouse it can receive sugar. Oops, I always forget to do that. Yeah, so that, that guy's not going to be carrying anything. Let's... Let's delete it, and, or clone it, and, and or not, we'll just clone it, and we'll, leave, we'll have two lines, two sugar lines going. And we can tell some of our warehouse trains to pick up some sugar now, because I'm pretty sure Compeche and Marita both want sugar. Yeah. So let's do that. Let's see, what do you have in excess of Compeche? Are you running out of wheat? Oh, you just got some. An excess of meat, but you're making that. You have an excess of beer. Okay, so let's cut out a little beer. And add on some sugar. We'll pop some sugar on this guy. We'll, just, we'll do that for now. And Marita. Are we running out of beer? Or no, we're running out of... Oh yeah, we're out running out of coffee. Okay, but hopefully that change we made will fix that problem. That's concerning though. Are we growing still in both cities? Yes, good. See, Belize will need sugar soon as well. Uh, Belize wants sugar now. Okay, so let's get some sugar going to Belize. Because Belize is the one I'm most worried about because it's got uh, a little ways to, a little more of a ways to go than Merida. Okay, so sugar for Belize. That, I guess. Uh, ticket machine increases the number of passengers in every city. We'll throw a bid. Why not? Oh, also, real quick, let's uh, spend some research points here. We got 300 to spend. Um, this will reduce the amount of times that our trains need to stop at supply towers. Reduces the cost of personnel. Get a new train, which we don't really need. Uh, let's do pre-warmer. And we'll do this. Okay. Uh, so let's, let's get some, um, some staff on some of our trains here. We'll get you an engineer. Um, get you a stoker. 
And why not? We'll get you a security guard. Uh, let's get one on the Marita train. Our engineer. Reduce our... Increase our reliability. I think that's why we're having so many issues with trains breaking down. We, we never have any staff on them properly managing th things. Alright. That helps. Um, what, were, what were we doing? Oh yeah, we're getting sugar. We're getting sugar. I'm just going to run the game while we do this. Alright, Marita wants some sugar. See if Marita has an access to anything. We received our ticket machine to increase our passengers. Oops, that is not what I meant to do. Uh, there is a ranch we can bid on. We're not going to. Um, okay. Oh, yeah, we were going to look at Marita and see if it's running in excess of anything. We're running low on cattle. We're running low on... Alright, we're, we're super good on wood, but we're not receiving wood anymore. Hmm. Right, maybe we just want to get another train. Yeah, let's just get another train. So let's clone this. And we are going to... Have you pick up a bunch of sugar? up some cattle. We're good on wood. I think we're running low on coffee. Let's see if we're getting more coffee in our warehouse now. Looks like it. It's hard to say. Oh, we need to tell this guy not to leave until he's got a full load. He should be having a full load though because this could hold 99. Why does this guy only have Four sugars. Strange. But we'll tell it not to leave until it's got a max uh, car. Max, uh, eight, all eight cars filled until it leaves. Okay. Uh, so we got some sugar going to Marita now. We got some sugar going to Compeche. I think we need some more sugar for Belize. least needs more beer. Are we keeping enough beer in the warehouse? Yes. So let's get another... I know this is overkill, but we're gonna get another train here. I just really don't want to lose this, uh, this mission. So we're doing overkill. We're gonna get another train. And we are going to have you be beer and uh, sugar and uh, fill in the gaps with a couple of mystery boxes. This poor warehouse is so congested now. Breweries in Hermosillo. No thanks. And let's take a look at uh, where our populations are at. Uh, we've grown by about 6,000 uh, in about three months. And we've got another 10 months, so... That's about 30,000 in, in those 10 months that we should theoretically be able to get, so I think we're okay, as long as we don't um, ever stop growing. So now we just, uh, now we just wait. What's this over here? So due to equipment, you need a supply tower. There you go. Oh, you know what I wanted to do too, is get some extra supply towers down on this incredibly long line we have. Let's get one. Let's see where we have one there. So let's get one like right here. And let's get another one like over here. Cool. And do we have milk yet? We don't have milk yet. We can get a milk line going in here. Because we want milk and compassion for sure. 
Um, let's see. Marita. Marita wants milk too. Um, it's Belize probably does, or it will very soon. So yeah, let's get let's get a milk station set up. Uh, we could just do a small, small one, since it's so close to the line. We don't need to double it up. Let's put that there. Oh, you know, before we do that, we'll need to double up this track. So let's do that. this up over here or we can just work it in right there actually like this okay pop some signals down on this delete that gotta delete all of these Block signals up there. Same on this side. Alright, great. Now we can bring in that other line. train running. Um, we can get one going to Compeche and we'll get one going to Merida. This is going to be Compeche. Staff on you. We'll put some staff on the Marita one though, since it's a little further. Which is going to be Marita milk. And let's get some staff for you. We'll get you running faster. And let's get a security guard. Now let's get one line going in to get over to Belize. Well, it doesn't need it yet, but it will very soon. We'll at least get the track set up, and then once we hit a population of 40,000 in Belize, we'll, we'll get milk going to it. mess we got going on over here. Belize still growing. Marita still growing. Good, good. Getting a lot of breakdowns. Yeah, we want to pay better. I need to get better at paying attention to staff and making sure we're getting, uh, you know, engineers and stuff on these trains so they break down less. Get this guy a uh, faster speed at least. coffee warehouse situation still still running a little on the low side with the coffee how are we with wood wood's fine so I think we'll, we'll get a little more coffee running on a couple of these trains 
So we'll make you bring one more coffee. And we'll do that on one more. Let's see if that helps. I know that's a very small change, but we'll see. It's right along this side, right here. We might just need to get another um, another train. Well, there's another one right behind it that's going to have all your sugar. Hmm. Perhaps we do want to get another coffee train. Just going to keep checking in with Belize and Marita and make sure that they're always growing. Oh, we've got another industry here that we can pop down. Um, maybe we'll do that. We hit 40,000 so we can get milk. Oh, maybe let's just put, put some, uh, put some cheese here. Some dairy farms. Yeah, let's get some dairy farms. Why not? We'll put you right here. So that means we definitely need to make sure we're getting milk. So let's get that milk train going now. We'll want to expand this right now as well. Make it a double station, actually. We don't really need speed for this guy. Don't We don't need mail, because it's not going to be picking up any mail. So, no employees. Wow, you're only carrying two loads. Oh, this this uh, farm is not producing a lot of uh, milk. Interesting. Can we buy this and upgrade it? Ooh, that is expensive. Whatever. Probably a terrible idea. I don't even have the money. Oh, well, that was probably really dumb. Whatever. We're gonna live with our decisions. Okay, so now that you need cheese, or making cheese, you're, you're gonna need a steady supply of milk, so. Uh, yeah, we would definitely need to uh, expand our, our, our little farm, milk farm here. We'll do that as soon as we can afford it. But okay, what was I doing? Let's make sure we're not dipping too low on anything here. We're good with our grain. We are not good with our cattle. We're not good with our coffee. Oh, we just bumped up our coffee. Wood is slightly below where it should be. Sugar's good. We're getting cloth. Where are we getting? How are we getting cloth? Huh, how are we getting that cloth? Who's bringing cloth? I know we're making cloth in Compeche, but I don't think we have a train, a freight train running between the two. Do we? 
No. Is that just getting carted down there by a uh, wagon? Bandit. There's. Oh, I can hire a bandit. There's no bandits. Hmm, okay. Why are we running out of. Um... Oh, we're probably running out of coffee because our warehouse keeps running out. Yeah, okay. We're gonna get a dedicated uh, coffee only train on this line. Because we can't keep running out like this. This is going to be Peninsula Warehouse Coffee. Don't go. Okay, good. You're just doing coffee, but we need to make sure that that's always what you're only doing. No, we need to set it to manual. Oops, that's not not what I meant to do. There we go. Okay, that's good. See, you had coffee. Why did you why did you ditch it? You're gonna load it up? Nope, you're not. Alright, we're gonna clone him. And delete this guy. Okay, there we go. There's our dedicated coffee train. Oh, that's wood. Did I tell it to pick up wood? It did. I definitely did. Not what I meant. Okay. And we're gonna have to do this again. So. <laughs> Is it gonna ditch the, the wood since we changed it? No. Alright. Clone. Now we got coffee. All right, we're still growing here. We're at 66, which is okay, but I, I really want it to be like at 70 all the time. 83 here, that's great. And we are Meat industry in Belize. Oh, we can buy the meat industry in Belize. Yeah. Yes, I do want to buy that. Great. Um, and let's go ahead and increase the size of our little uh, dairy farm here. So we can produce more milk. going on up here huh. all right so we, we should have now solved our coffee problem and I think we just want to save money now because uh, once we finish this task we're gonna be given some new ones and we're gonna we're gonna want to have some money in the bank um, in order to do what we need to do. Hmm. Yeah, these guys aren't, aren't getting all the milk they need. That's unfortunate. It looks like we also have a new industry here in Merida, um, producing tools. So it wants steel for that. So steel is made by having another industry. And uh, we need a mine uh, that's producing iron, I believe, to make steel. As you can see, Following my orders will lead to success. Okay, so we reached 60,000 60, in Merida, and we are almost there for Belize. Guys, I think we did it. I think we're good. Yeah, let's look. I want to see real quick. Um, so, steel. How do I see what steel is made from? 
pretty sure you need iron. Iron and coal, maybe. We have some iron up here, so maybe we can get Tuxtla. Tux Tuxtla? Tutla? I don't know. I don't know how you say that. We can easily connect that in, too. And we can get some some iron coming down here. So we'll probably worry about that in the next part, if, if we want to worry about it at all. We're just playing that waiting game. Compeche is no longer going. We're running low on the grain. Um, you want veg now, you want fruit now, you want clothing, furniture, cheese. Okay. We can get a train going between Compeche and Belize so that Belize can bring cloth down to or uh, Compeche can bring cloth to Belize, and Belize can bring cheese back to Compeche. That'll help both of their growths. We could do that along this line right here. So, you know, might as well. Let's do it. I'm gonna have it be freight. Uh, let's put you on four. Oh, we also forgot to keep an eye on our uh, tracks in. Compassion, we wanted to make sure we weren't getting any unnecessary congestion. Give you a stoker. Give you a security guard. Cool. So we've got some trade going between two of our cities. That'll make us some more money and keep everybody happy. Look at that growth. Look at that growth. All right, um, we're gonna just go ahead and speed this up here for a little bit um, until we hit that growth, and I think then we'll we'll call it here and see what comes our way next. Hopefully, we can hit our growth here before the end of this year. That way, it'll give us a little more of a, a cushion for our next set of tasks. Just gonna keep a close eye on the growth as we speed this up. A company has received a blackmail letter. If you do not immediately pay 198,000, one of your cattle companies will be sabotaged. Ugh. We'll pay, we're gonna pay it. Task is about to expire. Yes, I know. Will we make it? I think we will. Let's see if our uh, little dairy farm over here is producing better now. Uh, we've only got four there, but we should start to catch up. Because they're producing 3.2 a week now, which is, I think, double what they were before. We can get a professor. What, what should you do? What does the professor do? I think he gives us research points. 130 for 430 grand, no thank you. Um, also, we have some research points, let's spend them. Increase profits from mail. We're not doing much mail right now, but we will in the future and we need this to start moving up this tech tree here. Um, breweries, nah. Reduces purchase prices of new locomotives, or we can get a Shea class, which is 40 miles per hour, 161% tractive power. How is that compared to our Bastodon? 40 miles. That's a little better. Yeah, let's get that. We can upgrade all those. Uh, increase the number of new applicants. Meh. Alright, we're almost there. Why, does it, why do I keep getting a train loading error message here? Are we just waiting? Did I tell this guy? Oh, I probably just told this guy not to leave until it has, yeah, eight cars. I don't know why it gives me a message for that. I haven't even looked up here in forever. I'm sure we'll have to turn back to this area soon. Alright, let's, let's keep an eye on Compeche and see if we're getting any bottlenecking. So 
So you're the milk train. We can put you on another track, maybe. Let's put you on like track two. Yeah, no, oh, jeez, look at this. This is a problem. In the future, we'll have you go to uh, track one. Oh, it can't. It needs uh, a crossover. Wow, that was never set up. Let's set it up. Actually. No, we do want to. We want to make this guy wait over here. I think this is all fine. Yeah, I think this is all fine. Okay, now we can have this guy come into that track, no problem. Cool, there we go. Alright, two more months, please. Can we do it? Oh yeah, we, we're there. We got it, friends. We have That's reached our goal. That's how I imagined it. Yeah, got anything else to say there, buddy? Very well. It is time for my re-election. An annoying formality, but what else shall I do? Establish a couple of express routes that will show them that my way follows a path of modernization and wealth. All right, looks like we're gonna need to set up express lines now. Oh, we've created some problems up here. Um, all right, so new goals, new tasks. Uh, establish an express connection between Veracruz and Mexico City. Okay, that should be easy. We have a year to do that. Uh, establish an express connection between Mexico City and Tampico, and establish one between Tampico and Nuevo Laredo. So let's see where Tampico and Nuevo Laredo are. Okay, Tampico's here. And it said what, between Mexico City? Okay, that, that'll be no problem. We've got two stations in Mexico City that'll make that easy. And where is our other city? All the way up here okay that should also be pretty easy um, but we will save that for next time but real quick before we finish this up here what have we got going on here so you are waiting for that train and you are waiting for that train why why can't you Oh, because it's being blocked right here. Yeah, we need to get rid of this signal right here. That is a problem. Also, why are you leaving with your milk? You should have unloaded your milk. Okay, we're going to clone this guy. We'll delete this one. We'll let this guy pull in. And we will delete this signal. Breakdown right there. Great place to break down. Uh, let's do one more management thing here. Let's have you pass through on a less trafficked line. Can we, can we put you on the outside? We can put you on the outside. What was I doing? Where are you? Can 
make you go over here. Oh, and ship that up there. Oh, that's not really the effect I had. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll focus on this next time. This episode's getting a little on the long side. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Um, super stoked that we completed our goal there. I was a little worried we weren't going to make it. Um, and we will see you next time to set up some express lines. All right, bye, y'all.